Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo action figure review. Now today I'm be reviewing a very awesome figure. This is the Package Master Chief from the Anniversary Series 2 of the uh, McFarlane Toys action figure line. Now this guy, I can't tell you when I ever opened a figure and just said, wow. And I, I actually did say that when I opened a figure. Now usually, I, I mean I've, been, I've seen so many uh, McFarlane toys over the years that you know, I'll think that many of them are very awesome, they look amazing, but rarely do I ever just literally say, wow, when I open it. And I gotta say, this guy is incredible. This this Master Chief is amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Um, he is based off of the package Master Chief, which what that is, is from the Halo Legends um, video that came out a couple years back. And uh, this was designed, this is the, the figure... Uh, our character based on that design, the figure based on that design, and it is just bulky. I mean, this is what I think Spartan should look like all the time. Get him to set down his gun. I mean, it just looks bulky, it looks powerful, it looks dangerous. I mean, it just looks exactly like what I would imagine a Spartan to look like. It just looks incredible. Just show you here, like, how big the feet are. The feet are huge. I mean, it, the boots alone would just kill you. Now, the arms look a little bit small compared to the legs, but, I mean, realistically, it's probably going to happen, but just awesome. Now, articulation on this figure, um, the head is loose, but not loose-loose, but just enough that you can just pose it, and it stays in any position I, I leave it in. So that's very cool. Um, it's on a ball joint, so it can rotate 360 degrees. The arms can't open up too high because of the way that the shoulders are built. That's a little bit of a downside, but really, in my mind, it's not a big deal. Um, the arms can also rotate 360 degrees, can uh, bend at the elbow, can also rotate just above the elbow. Then also the hand has its own articulation that can go in and out, and they can rotate 360 as well. Waist articulation here, um, you can look, you know, you can be in this just surprise Master Chief, like, oh my gosh, I forgot to turn off the oven. You know, that kind of face. Or you can bend down and be like, oh, I found a penny. Look at that. Penny richer. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, the hips, not a whole lot of range of motion as far as going forward, going back, about there. Then also bends at the knee, rotates just above the knee. Then you've also got the standard uh, articulation for the reach Spartans at the ankle. So it can bend and it can rotate, it can flip. And then, um, yes, he does have the toe articulation. My favorite part of any Spartan. It's not complete without toe articulation in my mind. Um, now, as far as peg holes on this figure, because it is a different figure than what they've had before, there is no peg holes in the back or butt pegs or peg holes here on the back of him uh, for like his butt area or his belt. So he, even though he does come with one frag grenade, which this is a Halo 3 frag grenade, not a reach figure uh, frag grenade, um, it doesn't come with a weapon peg, but you could take the one from the assault rifle here and put it with the frag grenade, and then attach it to his leg. His right leg has one peg hole, while his left leg has two. Um, not exactly sure why it has two. I don't know. Maybe that's because they'd give it one for a grenade, one for a, a secondary weapon, then the, you know, the primary weapon on the right leg. I don't know. I also don't know why he doesn't have one on the back, because that's what that looks like right there in the center, would be where that should be in the design of the character. Um, paint job-wise, it looks... A lot like it does in the movie, or the video, the, the package. Uh, so I'd say it does a good job there. As far as if I were to compare him to like some of the Reach figures, I'd say it isn't the best paint job. It's still Master Chief looking, but it's not the greatest. Because um, it's kind of got that grainy look, but I think that's more that they're trying to keep it exactly accurate to how it was in the package. So that's more of the package designer's fault. Um, he comes with two accessories. Uh, you get the assault rifle, which is a Halo 3 assault rifle, which I'm not a big fan of with this figure, just because this figure looks different than any of the other Spartans, and then you give him like this plain, blah, Halo 3 assault rifle. I'd like to see if actually it'd be better if he was holding one of the Halo Reach rifles. Yeah, that looks, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better to me anyway. Yeah. A lot cooler. Uh, except that his hand looks weird the way I got a pose, but whatever. <laughs> he also comes with the frag grenade that I uh, spoke of earlier, but he also comes with this piece here that is for the UNSC insignia. What it is, if you don't know, if you haven't seen my other reviews, 
uh, all of the Anniversary Series 2 figures come with a different piece. There's five figures in the series, as you can see here in the back of the packaging. Each one comes with a different part of the insignia. And when you combine the pieces, you build the UNSC insignia. So that's really cool. It really, you know, it's just an added benefit that if you're going to purchase the entire series anyway, it gives you something else out of it. So that's really cool. They also did that for the Anniversary Series 1, but they built uh, all the figures together, built the uh, legendary difficulty symbol from when you're playing like campaign. So that's also really cool. Now for scale-wise of this character, here is one of the old, old Halo 3 Master Chief figures. Now this is, like I said, the Halo 3 design, but this is back from the Halo 3 line, not the redesigned one. So comparing him height-wise, um, it's like his kid brother. <laughs> he's definitely smaller. Now to compare him to the newer redesigned Halo 3 Master Chief that came out with the Anniversary Series 1, as you can see here, they're both much more in scale with each other. So these two were designed to be more in the reach scale of figures. This character was designed back in the days of the Halo 3 line, which was on a smaller scale than it is currently. Um, so take him out of there because it's just pitiful seeing him next to him. because just this. These two look amazing to me. Um, Height wise, yeah, I guess they're about they're about dead even with each other. So overall, I would say that if there was now having all five of the ones from the series one, I or series two, excuse me, I would probably say that this is definitely the figure to get. If you can only get one figure from this entire series of uh, the anniversary series two, get this guy. This is an amazing sculpt. It's an amazing figure. It's just awesome looking. And I was I was kind of concerned at first when they said, "Oh, we're coming out with the package, Master Chief." Yeah, I just you know. I really liked the way that Master Chief looked in that, uh, the movie, uh, the package from Halo Legends, but I didn't know if they could really do it, you know, not that I doubted McFarlane, but I'd seen um, another company make a Halo figure uh, of Master Chief from the, the package before, and it didn't look that great, so I wasn't really sure what McFarlane was going to do with it, but I gotta say, this is, this is really good, and I don't say that about every figure. If you watch a lot of my reviews, you know, I don't usually praise a figure this much, and I really like this one. Um... The only other thing that I didn't mention was if the shoulders... Ah, okay. The way that Master Chief's uh, armor works with this figure as far as the shoulder parts go is that his shoulder plugs into the armor, not the armor plugging into the shoulder like it is with all the Reach male Spartans. Um, so you won't really be able to interchange his armor with your Reach Spartans, but I don't think you would anyway because then he wouldn't look as awesome as he does now. So... Yeah. Now, if you can't find this figure in your area and you want to purchase this guy anyway, there's a link down in my description to uh, entertainmentearth.com. You can pick this guy up there from them online, have it mailed to you no matter where you live, and uh, it is super cool. If, if if there was one figure, I think, so far this year that I would encourage everyone to get, if they, you know, if they don't have a Master Chief figure yet, get this one. This one is really awesome. So, five out of five, definitely. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Which Master Chief figure do you think is the best? Do you think it's the, the package, uh, the new Halo 3 redesigned one, the Combat Evolved one that they did um, just in series, uh, Anniversary Series 1 that was more of the how he looked in the original Combat Evolved? Or do you just prefer the old traditional Halo 3 Master Chief? I mean, maybe you you just nostalgic for this guy and nobody else can beat it. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, commenting, subscribing. As always, I really do appreciate it, guys. And uh, this is a super cool figure. All right. See you guys.